Have you ever pondered about the nature of time and existence? How we perceive the past, present and future? The concept of time and existence, two seemingly simple yet profoundly complex notions, have puzzled philosophers and scientists for centuries. But what if we were to pose an audacious question? Has the future already happened? To navigate this conundrum, we turn to two intriguing theories about time, the block universe and the growing block. The block universe theory suggests a world where past, present and future coexist simultaneously, a fixed whole where time does not flow. On the other hand, the growing block theory posits a world where the past exists, but the future is yet to unfurl, a dynamic entity that evolves with every passing moment. Two starkly different perspectives, each offering a unique lens to view time and existence, each challenging our conventional understanding and prompting us to rethink what we thought we knew. Let's delve into these intriguing theories about the nature of time. The block universe theory paints a fascinating picture of time. Imagine a loaf of bread. Each slice represents a moment in time, with the whole loaf embodying all of time. Past, present and future are not separate entities flowing one after the other, but exist simultaneously, much like every slice in the loaf. This is the crux of the block universe theory. Let's delve deeper. Consider your life as an extended movie reel. Every frame, every moment, from your birth to your death, is already present on that reel. The feeling of time flowing, of moving from one frame to the next, is just an illusion. It's a bit like watching a movie. The entire film is already there, but you experience it scene by scene. In this framework, tomorrow is as real as yesterday. The future doesn't happen or unfold. It simply exists, just as the past does. Your next birthday, your retirement party. Every event of your life is already present in this block universe. In the block universe, every event from the past to the future is laid out in a timeless four-dimensional block. Now let's turn our attention to the growing block theory. This theory is a fascinating twist on the block universe concept. It proposes that while the past and present are real and exist, the future is not yet set in stone. In other words, the future is yet to unfold. This is where cosmologist George Ellis steps in with a compelling interpretation of the growing block theory. Ellis focuses on the evolution of space-time, a concept that might sound abstract at first. Picture space-time as a canvas that's always stretching, always evolving, and as it evolves, it transitions from a state of quantum uncertainty, think of it as a blurry, unclear image, to classical certainty, where the image comes into sharp focus. So, what does this mean for our understanding of time? It suggests that the future isn't a fixed point on a timeline. Instead, it's a realm of possibilities, a vast expanse waiting to be explored and filled with events. So, in the growing block universe, the past and present exist, but the future is a realm of possibilities waiting to manifest. These two theories present us with a paradox about the nature of time. On one hand, the block universe theory suggests that the future is as real as the past and the present, existing simultaneously in a timeless cosmic tableau. The future, according to this view, is as predetermined as a movie that's been fully shot, edited, and ready to play. On the other hand, the growing block theory tells a different story. It paints a picture of a future that is yet to be written, a canvas that's still blank, waiting for the brush strokes of existence. The past is set in stone, but the future, it's a story that's still unfolding, a mystery that's yet to be solved. These contrasting visions of the future force us to question our understanding of existence and reality. If the future is already determined, where does that leave free will? And if the future is yet to be written, how can we reconcile that with the laws of physics that govern our universe? So, the paradox of time continues to puzzle us. 
Is our future already etched in the block universe, or is it yet to be written in the growing block? Time, as we perceive it, may be far more complex and intriguing than we imagine. We've journeyed through the concept of the block universe, where past, present and future are all existing simultaneously, with time as a fixed whole rather than a flowing river. This theory challenges our conventional understanding of time, turning it on its head. Then we delved into the growing block theory, an adaptation that suggests the past exists, but the future is yet to unfold. This idea, further developed by cosmologist George Ellis, emphasizes the evolution of space-time and the transition from quantum uncertainty to classical certainty. It's a fascinating perspective that adds another layer to the multifaceted nature of time. These theories create a paradox, a contradiction that presents time as both a fixed entity and a growing, evolving construct. It's a mind-bending concept that pushes the boundaries of our understanding and our perception of reality. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe, one thing remains certain. Time continues to captivate our curiosity and challenge our understanding of reality. The future, it seems, is as elusive as ever.